Welcome to Two Minute Tactics, where we look at a recent game and focus on the tactical approach of the teams. Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at a defensive mid block, but before we get into today's video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe, and if you missed last week's video, click on the link above. So we're going to be looking at how a defensive mid block sets up, so let's get two minutes on the clock, and let's go. Okay, so looking at the defensive mid block, it's a more balanced approach. Instead of playing a high block, more as, as, in, as in look, we're trying to press in the final third, or a defensive low block, where we're trying to prevent the opposition getting anywhere near the box, but we're very deep, so it's harder to attack. We've got a more balanced approach. We're going to look at Liverpool's style when they defend in the middle third. Obviously, we do know that they can high press as well, but in the middle third, they have their three central midfielders who are, who are all capable of covering the ground quickly. So if you look at Fabinho, Jordan Henderson, James Milner, Georgie, Wijnaldum, Alex Oxley, Chamberlain, who is now a centre midfielder. They can all cover ground quickly. They can get into wide areas to support the fullbacks if Sadio Mane and Mo Salah are still quite high. And they've also got Roberto Firmino, who drops in well and is fantastic at winning the ball back. So, what we're looking to do is contain space and prevent space in behind for the opposition, but we don't want to drop too deep. So we're happy for them to have the ball here, and then once they come into the midfield third, can we look to put them into areas where we can win the ball? So when the ball is in central areas, we are defending in central areas. So we are defending in between the box. When the ball goes out wide, so if the ball goes out wide here, we all shift across, making it difficult for the opposition to find any space in here to play through. And what we also need is our goalkeeper ready. So if the ball does come over the top and it's going towards the box, the goalkeeper's there to intercept. So when the ball does travel higher, we will go a little bit deeper to prevent space in behind. Whereas if we stay too high and the ball is coming into our own half and we're high, we're leaving space for a running behind and then the chances are that play might be on side. So we can't really take those risks. It also gives us the ability to drop deeper and to press higher. So with a team like Liverpool, we've got the ability to press high because of the front three. And But also when the front three do press high, they want to show the ball into central areas. Why? Because they know that's where there's more bodies and it's also where they can win the ball back because of the players in here who are eager to win it back. So if a ball gets played to the centre back and Salah and Mane are both pressing, they will show the ball inside, making it difficult for the defender to get it out wide to the fullback. And if the ball does go inside, they will drop in here so that the ball can only go backwards again. And this is where Roberto Firmino can support the press. And if it's a three on one or a three v two situation, the defenders normally can panic and they can give the ball back to them as well. Thanks for watching this week's video. For more content, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. The links will be in the description below. And we'll see you next week for another two minute tactics.